Reality's got rules. There's rules. Uh, principles, if you will. Rules. That you can't really fuck with. You can't mess with. Like, gravity's one of those. You see how that happens? Like, can't really screw with that one. Objects do this. Doesn't matter. There's other rules, like um, integrity. It's like a principle. Objects that are all one piece are stronger. It's a rule. You can't mess with that. Is it tracking? There, there is stuff that, that, that's like rules. You can discover these rules. That's the stuff you can't fuck with. We call it like principles. It's the stuff you can't mess around with. Integrity has rules. Honesty has rules. It's a that's like a socially created principle, but that has rules also and consequences. Same thing. You can discover what those are. Now the same with this, what Peter's talking about with this mind-body alignment. It's like another one of those rules, like a principle. If you line your mind and your body up to the task, you will have power. It's a rule. You want to be weak? Split from the task. Don't align your body. You can't get around that. Same with like the body being stuff. You're, if your body is lined up, well and aligned with what gravity see you have power if you don't you don't it's a rule kind of that you, you got that so now you can discover this stuff and understand it and that is also where we keep pushing you for understanding because once you understand the rules the rules like the real rules, not like the thought about the rules, not the concepts about, you see, you might have concepts about integrity and honesty, right? Oh, I'll be a good person, I'll have integrity, but that's not, that's a thought about it, that's not it. If you understand it for itself kind of thing, like you get the rule where the rule is, now, you know, become perhaps conscious of the rule or have an increase in insight into the nature of that principle or rule, you know, I'm using the word rule, Nah, now you understand. Now you're much more able to act in relationship to that than somebody who does not understand. So it's useful to go for the understanding. Not just because somebody tells you so you can believe it, but so you actually get it. And then it just may, you go, oh, obviously I would line my body up to the task. Why? Because it's powerful. Can't mess with that. Oh, Obviously, I would want to work on structuring my body well. Why? Because it's the powerful thing to do. And you know it, not because somebody told you. You know, so it's like you know it for you. Got it? Yeah. Would you be able to say more about the personal integrity and how one can train that up? Yeah. Never break your word. When you tell somebody you're going to do something, you do it. Otherwise, don't tell them. That's how you train that. They, then you will have integrity, your word, you know, like, integrity, how do people know of you? They know you through what you say and what you do. That's how, for the most part, people know you. If I was just a body standing here, I didn't talk and didn't do anything, what would you know of me? Like, say you never met me before. Nothing. You got nothing, except there's somebody, there's a body over there. But now I say something. Hey, I'll meet you at five o'clock over there. Five o'clock rolls around, you organize your busy schedule, you're there, I'm not. Now what do you think of me? He's a liar. Yeah? My spoken word has no integrity, there's no power there. I said five, I can't even make that happen. Now, I say, hey, I'll meet you at five, you're there at five, I'm there. What do you think? Something different happens for you about me, right? I say, yeah, I'll build you that car and I'll drive that car under a bridge. And right as you jump off the bridge, you know, taking a little bit from a story that Peter would tell, say to apprentices, say, say you're going to jump off the bridge. I'll be there to catch you. I said it. I do it. Now, what do you think of me? Imagine that. You, I can say, hey, I'll, I'll meet you at exactly this place. So that when you throw this very important thing off a train as it's going by, I'll catch it, I'll be there, and I'll get it to the post office because it's urgent. And, and I said it. 
Now you don't even need to think about it. You just get on the train and chuck the thing out and you know it's gonna happen. Now, what kind of a person am I if, if I do that? Tracking? Yeah. There's a lot of trust. So you wanna have integrity as a, as a person? Don't break your word. Yeah, it seems like things happen. People can make decisions in relation to you differently if you're a person with integrity. Yeah. Yeah, like, do you, for example, do you trust me? Yeah. Like, why? You know, I, do you, do you, do you get the sense that if I said I was going to be somewhere to meet you, would I be there or not? You would be there. Yeah. Why? I mean, I guess we don't hang out very much, so I don't know if this is a good example, but, like, because you know I do shit like that, right? You just, you get that sense, you know. It's like that, oh, that guy takes his words seriously. Somebody else, most people, as far as I can tell. You ever get this one? Oh, 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 there's a party tonight? Oh yeah, I'll see you there. You think they're gonna show up? Like, maybe. Me? I'll see you there means I'm gonna fucking be there, say. Or somebody else, do you, you get it? Yeah, so that, that's how, and now, now your words have integrity with your actions, and you also represent yourself accurately. You know, like they say also something like the inside, what's inside matches your outward expression, so there's not a split between what's going on inside and what you're expressing. That also creates integrity in humans and people. Yeah. Yeah, and if you do it a bunch, there's consequences. You become a person that is related to like that. People trust you. Your words have power. Now, somebody like maybe me or Peter says, in, you know, in two days, I'm going to come find you where you are and punch you. Like, you start getting a little nervous because you know in two days you're going to get punched in the face. So he's like, oh shit, uh oh, I better get out of here or something. But you know, like, something's going to happen. Whereas somebody else, they say, you don't take them seriously, you, don't, you can't trust them. Their words have no power. Why? Because they break their word. It has no power. Again, you break the integrity of a vase, it has weak. You break the integrity of your word, it's weak. Why does that work that way? I don't know. It just seems to. It's like a rule. How's that? Yeah, thank you. What consequences have you seen for yourself with integrity? Oh, if I break it? Um, by acting in alignment with the principle of integrity. Yeah, I'm more powerful. I trust myself more. I feel better in my own skin. Um, other people trust me. And the consequence is that I have to live with myself. And so I don't live with myself as weak in that area. You know, I think of myself, oh no, I'm strong in that area. And so I don't live with a, a weakened experience around that stuff. Say. And that is my life. This is why, you know, we go into stuff and tell people about, like, hey, this is your life we're talking about here. Because they're like, oh, why would I keep my word? Why does it matter? Who cares? Because it's your fucking experience that suffers if you don't <coughs> do it. You have to live with yourself as somebody who you can't trust your own word. Now, you break your word to other people, you're also breaking your word probably to yourself. Oh, yeah, I'm going to work out. Say that to yourself, right? Well, I'll work out five days a week and then you don't do it, do you? Say. Because your word, again, no power. But if you keep your word to yourself, that's probably even more important. Now we're talking. Whereas if you don't do that, you don't get those consequences. Does that make sense? Thank you. Yeah. So anyway, something to... Now, what do you do with that? You look into it for yourself. My whole point here is... Now, back to the body being workshop. Body stuff... If you line up with this stuff, you will have power. If you don't, you won't. If you recognize that you can understand, if you split your mind from your body, you will have power. If you don't, like, or excuse me, if you split, you won't have as much power as if you stay connected and stay with the process. Yeah, that's just how that works. Now, what do you do with that? You grasp, if that's even true, train it so that you can know for yourself and validate, is that even true? Is that true? Is that real or am I just like talking smack? Because maybe I'm just talking. Okay? All right, cool. Thanks.